Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome here to the Launchpad, or maybe good afternoon or evening, depending where you're joining us from. It helps when you hit the go live button. I've been here talking to you, and you haven't been responding. We're glad to have you joining us here. L minus four minutes, 50 seconds, and counting till scheduled liftoff of SpaceX Starlink 9 17, launching from Slick 40 at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name's Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad. And here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. Take a moment, let us know in the chat where you're watching from. Keep sending in those comments and questions as normal by tagging us at the Launchpad. You're looking at a beautiful, foggy view of Vandenberg as usual. So we count down now just four minutes, 20 seconds, and counting till launch of SpaceX Falcon 9 Boosters 1075 going for its 13th flight. After previously supporting SDA 0A, Transporter 11, Sarah 2, and nine previous Starlink missions. We got people tuning in from all over the world. We're glad to have you all here. Amy's in Michigan. We got uh, Love in Independence, Missouri, I believe. Ian is at MCO. We got Weld Rider in Ventura, California. Ollie's in the UK. We got Patrick in Phuket, Thailand. Cal uh, Calfer sorry, is in Seoul, South Korea. David is in Southern Spain. Windbreaker is in Arkansas. It's great having you all tuning in here today. We'll, of course, pull up the SpaceX Mission Control Nets, listening in to those final minutes now of the countdown. Prop load well underway. Strong back retract underway. On board today, we do have uh, 20 Starlink satellites. 13 of them are the direct-to-cell capable satellites, and the remaining seven are the regular Starlink V2 minis. SpaceX does have backup opportunities uh, beginning tomorrow at 6.26 a.m. Pacific time, but now that we are in propellant load, we are locked in, and they are actually going for an attempt here today. This mission's been Stage pushed back load is complete. a number of times over the last few days, but we're glad to see them in prop load, and now just less than three minutes and counting till liftoff. If you haven't yet, though, take a moment, engage that subscribe button so you never miss another live launch coverage. Space news update or exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. A quick programming note, this is the first of two launches for today. Rocket Lab giving another attempt at launching Kinesis killed the radio IOT star uh, at 7.01 p.m. Eastern time. So we hope you'll join us back here tonight for that Electron launch coverage as they go for a second launch attempt for their first launch from Launch Complex 1A since July of 2022. We hope to see you back here for that, but we'll be continuing to count down now just two minutes, 12 seconds and counting till liftoff from Vandenberg. As always, in the final minutes of the count, let's see that go, no go from you guys in the chat. If you aren't a TLP member yet, consider hitting that join button down below to get access to those custom TLP launch emotes. Now just one minute, 53 seconds and counting. The next major milestone will be at T minus one minute. That's when SpaceX's Falcon 9 will take over the count and begin its final launch preparations and pressurize. Stage two lock load is complete. Levels. T minus 100 seconds and counting. Ground gas, close seconds. up. Now, payload deployment will occur one hour, 35 minutes in the flight. SpaceX no longer provides live coverage of payload deployments. Make sure you stay tuned to social media. T minus 80 seconds. People tuning in from all over the world. We got Space Nerd uh, from Destin, Florida. We got JX in Lisbon, Portugal. Justine is in Imperial Valley. And we got Casino in the Philippines. Great to have you here. T minus 60 seconds and counting. Falcon 9 is in startup. This is into the final minute of the count as SpaceX prepares to launch 20 more Starlink V2 Mini and direct us hell satellites to low Earth orbit. I'll be back Go shortly for after launch. liftoff to take you through the final min uh, the remaining minutes of flight from liftoff to booster landing. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. 
to one ignition. Vehicles pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. And lift off of Falcon 9 Booster 1075, flying for its 13th time, carrying 20 Starlink V2 Mini and direct cells to low Earth orbit. And then at first major milestone in flight will be max Q. That's going to be the moment of max uh, peak mechanical stress on the vehicle. That's set to occur one minute, nine seconds into flight. Vandenberg doesn't have the best microphone, so we're not going to get as amazing of a rumble as we do when it launches oh, right power and telemetry on the Space Coast. 2 plus 50 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 coming up to traveling now over 1,000 kilometers an hour, passing through 7 kilometers in altitude. Waiting for that call out of Max Q. Supersonic. Max Q. And there's that call out of Max Q. Falcon 9 continuing to fly, now traveling over 2,000 kilometers an hour, coming up to 17 kilometers in altitude and increasing. The next moment, uh, the next event will be the beginning of a sequence of events kicked off with Miko, or first stage main engine cutoff. That will be immediately followed by, by first two. and second stage separation. Second engine start, or SES-1, we just heard the call out for MVAC engine chill in preparation of that. And about 30 seconds after, we will have fairing deployment, and that is when those Starlink satellites will be exposed to the vacuum of space for the very first time. Coming up to two minutes into flight, as always, send in those comments, and we'll be answering those questions you have during the coast phase of the first stage as it journeys back down to Earth. Today it'll be attempting to land on the drone ship, of course I still love you, station downrange in the Pacific Ocean. Waiting for the beginning of that sequence, it's beginning 2 minutes 29 seconds into flight with Miko. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there we have fairing separation confirmed. Falcon 9 continuing to fly. The first stage now heading up to what is fairing called its apogee. Confirmed. That'll be the highest point in its flight. Take a moment. Let's see those guesses in the chat of what you think that apogee is going to be. On the bottom left corner of your screen, we know we've hit apogee when the speed starts going up and the altitude pauses and then begins to decrease. The second stage now continuing under uh, power, now coming up to 9,200 kilometers an hour and increasing passing 120 kilometers in altitude four minutes into flight we're approaching that apogee of the first stage as it begins its journey back down to earth we're answering your guys' comments and questions in the chat fuzzball says thank you the launch pad for making our day and a blast off i appreciate that thanks for being here uh corner page nice you can see the ground lighting yeah it's always amazing to see some of the uh flight path that it passes over on what you're able to see or if it passes over some lightning storms uh, the views are always incredible as well looks like we have had apogee there first stage now beginning its descent back down to earth attempting to land on the drone ship of course i still love you it's got two more burns prior to that it's entry burn and landing burn entry burn scheduled to begin six minutes one second into flight lasting 23 seconds this morning Followed by landing burn, 7 minutes 52 seconds into flight, 
landing lasting right about 20 25 seconds depends how the landing goes as it touches down now as i said spacex no longer provides live coverage of their deployment so we'll be wrapping coverage with booster landing and confirmation of seco one which is when the second stage will be into its initial parking orbit this means that it is in a stable orbit that uh, it is in um, orbit around the earth and will stay there in preparation for deployment we do have one more burn of the second stage prior to deployment though this will put it into its final deployment orbit that's occurring 53 minutes 42 seconds in the flight excuse me flight lasting just one second cosmic fellow says i recently watched some older missions and sometimes the mvac engine and rings that separated the s2 uh, what were they? Um, so they do have a, a solid ring that is on the base of the uh, MVAC engine nozzle. That is part of the system when it's in the inner stage, uh, when they're uh, launching, that it helps keep the uh, shape of the MVAC engine nozzle. Uh, stage so one entry burn ring. startup. There we have the entry burn startup of the first stage as it begins to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. I always like to point out the speed and altitude here we are coming down now to 50 kilometers in altitude and descending and falcon 9 though burning off a lot of speed here in a land in its entry burn excuse me uh we are still traveling over 5200 kilometers an hour stage one entry burn shut down and there's that entry burn shutdown confirmed falcon 9 now free falling through the earth's atmosphere heading to that drone ship it'll now use its rcs thrusters its grid fins and just its size to slow down its uh speed over the next 30 kilometers in preparation for it. Stage one Earth. FTS is safe. Space Nerd, how long have you been doing YouTube? I started the, uh, doing YouTube on January 1st of 2021, and it has been a whirlwind of a journey ever since, but absolutely incredible as well. Uh, super excited. It's uh, led to me being able to quit my job, do this full time, and now move down here to the Space Coast to. Uh, live a childhood dream of getting to watch most of these launches when they're from Florida, uh, literally right outside my window, if I can't get any closer. Seven minutes, 20 seconds into flight, waiting for that landing burn to begin. If you have Stage one, Transonic. Engage that subscribe button so you never miss another live launch coverage. Again, quick programming note, we will be live later tonight for the second launch attempt of Electron and Kinesis killed the radio OT star at 7.01 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be going live roughly about T-minus 30 minutes, so make sure you stay tuned for our, on our Discord Stage for the two latest updates safe. there. Standing by for the beginning of that landing burn. Stage 1 landing burn. And we have ignition of a, what, some of those Falcon 9 engines in preparation for landing. Stage 2 terminal guidance. Coming through the clouds, there we can see the drone ship, of course I still love you, and a live view from on board the drone ship. Stage 1, landing leg deploy. Stage and 1, landing confirmed. Nothing. Falcon 9, 1075, back on Earth, having completed its 15th flight. We're waiting for confirmation of Seco 1. We'll hopefully get visuals of that before they wrap up their coverage here today. Watch the speed there. Once that speed halts, we know we'll have a good initial parking orbit. We'll be able to keep this visual view of it as well. Some beautiful views of the Earth passing below. And there we have confirmation of Seco 1. Falcon 9 second stage with 20 Starlink V2 minis and direct to cells now in low Earth orbit. That's going to do us for our live coverage of SpaceX Starlink 9-17. SpaceX no longer provides that live coverage of deployment. Stay tuned to their social media for confirmation of deployment. Deployment is expected one hour, 35 minutes into flight, so about 51 minutes from now. And we hope that you'll join us back here later today for the launch of Rocket Lab Electron, their first launch from Launch Complex 1A of the Mejia Peninsula since July of 2022. Also, make sure you join us over on our TLP Discord. That's where our community hangs out in between streams. We'd love to see you there. And head on over to our shop. That's where you can get some of our custom TLP Rocket Chasers amazing prints and our TLP launch gear. We're getting ready, of course, to roll out our 2025 calendars in a few weeks. So make sure you stay tuned for those as well. That's going to do it for us for now from our TLP Space Ghost Studio. My name's Zach, and we will see you later today for the launch of Electron because space is better together. We'll see you then.